Hi, this video is about the Kerber Mathematics Contest. I'm going to show you the solution for the April 2016 Grade 9-10 Contest Question 8, which also came up in the Grade 11-12 Contest. So the question is, It is noon on an analog clock. After how many minutes will the minute and hour hands form a right angle for the first time? Keep in mind both the hour hand and the minute hand are moving. Alright, so this is the analog clock. And this is a rough sketch of the hour hand and the minute hand for the first time when they form a right angle. Okay. So the angle that the hour hand has to move, we will call H. And the angle that the minute hand has to move, we will call M, such that we form, these two hands form a right angle. And that shows a right angle. Okay. Well, in one full hour, the minute hand does a full circle, but the hour hand only does one twelfth of a circle. So therefore, the angle that the minute hand has to move is equal to 12 times that of the angle that the hour hand must move. All right, and we know that a right angle is 90 degrees, so we have 90 degrees is equal to, and that is the angle that the minute hand has to move, which is M, minus the angle that the hour hand has to move, which is just there, just small. That is minus H. This is equal to, well, we have M is equal to 12H, so if we have M minus H, that is equal to 12H minus H, which is equal to 11H. And this is equal to, well, we know that 1h, if we divide both sides by 12, that would be m over 12. So if we have 11h, that would be 11 times m over 12. And now we want to solve for m. All right. Now we must multiply. Since we have 11 times 12, 11 over 12 times m, we must multiply m by 12 over 11 to get rid of this numerator and denominator. All right, so therefore we will have 12 over 11 times 90 degrees, which is equal to m. And we know that 90 degrees with the hour hand, let's say the hour hand was at the 12, then 90 degrees, the minute hand is a quarter of an hour around, which is 15 minutes. It's 60 minutes divided by 4. So therefore, we would have 12 over 11 times 15 minutes. And this is equal to the time that it will take for the hour hand, well, for the minute hand to move such that the two hands form a right angle. Therefore, the answer is option G, 12 times 15 over 11 minutes. Now, the key to solving this problem is to formulating or writing down this information from the question into two equations for the variables M and H so that we can solve for M. If you'd like to know more about this contest, please feel free to visit our website at caributest.com.